I donned a spacesuit for living on this plane. It was this body. This is my spacesuit. And it had a steering mechanism, my prefrontal lobes, and all the brain motors coordinating stuff. And just like those, Rusty Schweiger and the others that go to the moon and they wear their uniforms and they learn how to grab things and lift things. So I did that. You know, I learned my prehensile capacities. And I got rewarded. I get you get little stars and kisses and all kinds of things when you learn how to use your spacesuit. And you get really good at it. You get so good at using your spacesuit that you can't differentiate yourself from your spacesuit anymore. And everybody comes up and says, What a nice suit. And you're constantly looking into other people's eyes to find out if you're really wearing a nice spacesuit. It's what I call somebody training. When you're born, you go into somebody training because your parents know who they are and they're going to make you somebody too. My parents were very intent on making me somebody. They wanted me to achieve, be responsible, be healthy, be successful, bring pride to them. And if it didn't interfere with any of those, I should be happy. The problem that I experienced, though, was that the suit that I was wearing, it was like you're in a, one of these suits that doesn't quite fit, and you're a little uncomfortable, and you're constantly trying to readjust yourself. But everybody kept saying, beautiful suit, really impressive suit. You must be very happy. But I wasn't. Now, if everybody you look into their eyes, and they tell you you're happy, and you're not, because the suit feels so weird, what do you conclude? I felt when everybody said what a nice suit I was wearing that I must be sick. So I went to an analyst. Now he was wearing another kind of weird suit. See? <laughs> what he did was he said that for a pittance he would teach me how to wear his suit instead of my suit. So I learned how to wear his suit, which had even more status connect. I mean, more people said beautiful suit. And I really wasn't very happy in that suit either. And you walk down the street and you're somebody. You say, you know who you are. You dress like somebody. Your face looks like somebody. Everything is somebody. Nuts. Everybody is reinforcing their structure of the universe over and over again. And they meet like two huge things meeting. This is who I am. This is who you are. And we enter in these conspiracies. I'll make believe you are who you think you are. If you make believe I am who I think I am, and we just kind of bump against each other. You can see them in everybody. I mean, everybody's busy being somebody. I